and welcome to Dinners with Donna. Um, today we are going to do a great St. Patrick's Day menu. Um, but first, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. And I want to shout out, of course, my wonderful members. Thank you so much uh, for all you do. And to my mods, you guys rock. You keep the chat family friendly and safe, so thank you. Um, let's see. Let's go over our menu. So we're going to make five things. We're gonna make a Reuben casserole, a cold can and bake, key lime pie, Irish potato candy, and a shamrock shake. How's that sound, Nicholas? Sounds good. All right. And also, I had um, two PayPal since my last show, and I just wanna thank, um, they wanted to remain anonymous, so thank you both uh, for your very generous PayPals. I really appreciate that. Um, it helps pay for the ingredients and support the channel, so thank you so much. And we're actually gonna start with our key lime pie. So for that, I started my oven at 350, so it's preheated, and I'll get to the ingredients as soon as I put my sign down. Okay, so key lime pie. Great, delicious, flavorful pie. So simple. You start with a um, pie crust. I use shortbread cookie. I don't like graham as much. Um, I find the shortbread cookie is more um, of a good flavor that complements the lime um, more than the graham. That's my preference, but you can use whatever you like. Um, so we have one unbaked um, shortbread cookie pie crust prepared. We're going to use a half a cup of key lime juice. We are going to use a can of, let's see, I think it's 14 ounces approximately, of um, sweetened condensed milk. I use fat free. You can use full fat. You could use um, sweetened condensed coconut milk if you are lactose intolerant. So yeah, you can make this with a lot of different things. So, But not evaporated milk, it has to be condensed. And then we've got three egg yolks. So easy peasy, right? We're gonna start by just dumping the can of evaporated milk, I mean, condensed milk. See, I did it, I already did it. The sweetened condensed milk into our bowl. And the difference between evaporated milk is evaporated milk is not sweetened and it's not thick like the sweetened condensed milk. Um, that's why we don't need sugar for this recipe because the sweetened condensed milk is already sweet. So get all that out of there. I'm going to grab a little like spatula thing, I think, to get the rest out just because I want to get all of it out. Everyone loves your apron. Oh, thanks, guys. Well, I wore my orange bird apron. It's brand new, um, but because, of course, it's green, so it fits in with our theme today. And I got my shamrock headband that I got at um, Icing, which is um, Claire's or Icing. Uh, you can get that online or at the mall. They were like, I think it was like three for $10, my headbands. So I bought all kinds of holidays. And I'm so glad I get to wear it. Okay, so I find these like these spurtles that I have that I've shown you before. They come in all different sizes. This one's like a jar scraper or a can scraper. It's really good for getting all the last bits out of your uh, sweetened condensed milk. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. And then, oops, see how thick that is? It's really thick. Now, if you had evaporated milk, which you don't want in this recipe, it would be really liquidy and it would make a big mess if you used it in a pie recipe. Unless you're making pumpkin pie, that calls for evaporated milk. Okay, so I always shake, I use, always use Nelly and Joe's. This is the brand I've used for over like 20 years or something, making key lime pies. Um, it's my favorite. It's easy. The recipe actually for the pie is also on the bottle. 
Um, so that's a plus. And I always shake it just to make every make sure everything's distributed. We're going to use a half a cup of the juice. So out of one of these, you get four pies, which is really nice. And there's a $2 super chat from Disney Up Boiler Up. Aww. And Brandy says, hello from Pirates. Hope you're well. Oh, Brandy, you didn't have to check in from Pirates. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much. I'm so sad I didn't get to see you, but I understand Nick and Sam. You got to yes. see her permit, so that's wonderful. Yeah. It was great to see you, Brandy. I just I don't get to the parks as often as I used to. Hopefully I that'll change in the future. Just... And my watch is talking. Siri doesn't understand. Siri never understands me. I'm complicated. <laughs> John, great to see you. Welcome in. All right, so then we've got three egg yolks going in. And now what we do is you don't even need a mixer for it. We're just gonna whisk. And um, I'm just gonna put this in the sink. And while I'm whisking, do we want to do a chat check and say hello to everybody? Sure. Awesome. And it, we um, one of the devices that we use for the chat is not available, it's so um, I'll be like in a sporadic order instead of the usual order. But um, we have it's Joey's World. Hi, Lisa. Joey's Kit here. Stahlberg. James Hi, is James. here. Hi, James. Mark UK One. Hi, Mark. ALJ. Hi, ALJ. We have James. James. Danielle's here. Hello. Happy's Haunt. Hi, Happy's Haunt. Disney Freak. Disney Freak, hello. Danielle is here. Hello, Danielle. Trisha is here. Hi, Trisha. Todd B. Todd, hello. Rockin' Robin. Rockin' Robin. I think that's actually Glenn. Oh. Yeah. Gail is here. Hello. David Stevens. Hello, David. Jan S. Disney, 1974. Jan, hi. Disney World Castle. Oh, hello. Um. Am I making too much noise? No. Okay. We have Judy here as well. Hi, Judy. Disney World Freak, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Um, if I'm missing any names, you could, if you just comment again, I'm sure I'll see them. It's, yeah, one of our devices went down. It, it didn't recognize my face. I think it's, I don't know if it's my glasses or... Um, I don't know. Maybe it needs time to cool off. It's being ridiculous. <laughs> um, Leslie is here. Hi, Leslie. Herschel and Margie Linney. Hi, Margie. Ronnie the Po' Boy, Boy's Mom. Well, hello. Welcome in. Reese is here. Reese. Okay. So, Nicholas, see, it's all well incorporated. And that's what your batter is going to look like or your pie filling. It's not really a batter. But we're going to pour that into our um, unbaked crust. Now, um, most of my pies, um, because they go into a pre baked pie shell, I would normally um, tap the pan to get the air bubbles out. Do not do that with this pie because you'll just get cookie crumbs all in the, your pie and it won't be pretty anymore. Cody is here. Cody. Pamela V. Hi, Pam. Diz Infinity. Hi, Diz Infinity. Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike. All of our friends are here, Nick. Simba 2. Hi, Simba 2. Gary is here. Gary. Blue Polo. Hi, Blue Polo. And hi, Blue Polo's mom, if you're watching. Watching with Blue Polo's mom. Yay. The Jazza family. Sherry's here. Hi, Jazza family. Edgar Mode. Hi, Edgar Mode. Space Mountain, Dave Cantrell. Hi, Dave. ALJ, well, I think we said ALJ, but ALJ again. If we repeat, it's okay. Yeah. Just show an extra love to everybody. Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Roxanne. Roxanne. And Melanie's Magical Adventures just became a member. Well, hello, Mel. Thank you so much. Disney Trash Can. I love that name, Disney Trash McKay Trashcan. Mouse, Angela Minta. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so now as you can see guys, look at that. It fits our um, pie shell very nicely. There are some air bubbles um, in the um, pie filling, but it's fine. We're gonna bake it and um, it'll, it'll be really good. 
So we bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350, and we're gonna do that now. Are you staying over there or should I stay over here? Um, we're gonna come over here because we're gonna do the cold pan okay. bake Into the oven with the pie. Okay, so that's one recipe down, Nicholas. Perfect. I know. I gotta put my timer on. AJC Magic TV. Hi, Amy. That wasn't my fault. I wasn't over there. For what? When you got stuck on the thing. Oh, no, that was me. I was trying to get away of the, from the water. I'm just gonna grab my recipe so I can go over the ingredients with everybody. The beauty of the menu we're making, guys, is that everything is baking at the same temperature. So the pie bakes at 350, the cold cannon bakes at 350, and the Reuben casserole also bakes at, what do you think? 350. There you go. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> um, so now we're going to make the cold cannon bake because it takes the longest to bake and prepare. Um, so while the pie is baking, we'll get started. I already made the mashed potatoes, and that's simply three large potatoes, peeled, quartered, um, boiled with some salt. Then after uh, you drain them and you uh, mash them with butter, sour cream, and an egg and some milk. And now we're going to make the other part of it, which is the cabbage part. And now... Um, I've got two tablespoons of butter that's going to melt in our, our pan over medium, medium high heat, roughly. And then I've got three cups of um, shredded cabbage. And then my store didn't have leeks, so I had to go with green onions, which really isn't the same. But we're going to go with it because that's what they had and that's what they gave me my order because I do the pickup and it was too late to get real leeks. And then I have some bacon. That's optional. Um, the recipe doesn't call for it, but all the cold cannons I've ever had have some bacon in there. So we've got some chopped bacon, about six to eight slices, depending on how much bacon you like. And then I have a uh, small onion chopped. Dad Resort TV One is here. Hi, Cherry. Nat Pixie Dust Run. Hello. Disney Steve is here. Well, hello, Disney Steve. Good to see you. Yay. Rob Fuzz wants you to know he's watching. <laughs> Rob Fuzz. Hey, Rob. He wants me to what? Know that he's watching. Well, Rob. <laughs> I know, you're like Rob. You're watching. You're doing stuff, but you're always watching, which I appreciate. Okay. Actually, oh, that's right. We can't pin it because... We don't oh, have the device. Yeah. Let me see what I can do on that. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I can figure out something. Okay. You guys will be it, propped here for a second. Yeah, just, um, I'll keep talking. Uh, okay. I'm going to let that heat up just a little bit more. And yeah, this is going to be good. The one thing that's different about this is when you make the mashed potatoes for this recipe, I never put an egg in my mashed potatoes ever. Um, but this call, this recipe called for it, so I did it. So we're going to see how it turns out. I'm hoping it makes it um, the texture light and fluffy, and maybe it gives it more of an even more creamy um, consistency. And there's also, um, I believe, yeah, there was some sour cream in there as well. Do you use the whole egg or just the yolk? Uh, the whole egg. And I beat it before I, I, and also another tip because, you know, when you're mashing the potatoes, they're hot because you want the butter and everything to incorporate and get all good in there. So what I did was I tempered the egg by taking one spoonful of my mashed potatoes and mixing it with the egg before incorporating it. Because if you, I th was afraid that if you just dumped the egg in there, it would scramble the egg and you don't want scrambled eggs in your cold cannon. Uh-uh. I got it. Oh. Thank you. We got you're in. You're gonna have to tell me what happened. So, I knew your password. Was this something I did? No, I knew your password though. Okay. So we're gonna dump our cabbage in. <laughs> Mickey Travels is here. Oh, hi Mickey Travels. Welcome yeah. in, it's so good to see you. Okay, 
cabbage, leeks, and onion. Okay, so we're throwing it all in here. The cabbage, and then the onion. What do you want right now so I can pin? Oh, the cold cannon. Thank you. Or you the correct one. Thank you, Nicholas. And then again, because we didn't really have leeks, um, we're using this chopped green onion, but we're gonna make it work. It'll give it good flavor, I think, but not the same as a leek. Um, and also, if you do find leeks, most stores have them. I don't know why mine didn't for some reason, um, but when you have leeks, they are really sandy. So my tip is to get a big bowl of cold water and just swish them around to get all the dirt out and then rinse them really well in the sink and dry them off before you use them. Um, otherwise, you'll have sand in your food, and that's, that's not fun either. And this is going to cook down um, because, as I'm sure most of you know, cabbage contains a lot of water, so it cooks down, and it'll get limp. All right, that recipe is pinned now. Oh, good. Perfect. Okay. Alyssa and Neil are here. Hi, Alyssa and Neil. Welcome in. And I'm just tossing it right now, not um, just to mix the ingredients together, but to also incorporate um, evenly the butter that was in the pan. Um, so it'll be nice and yummy. And it won't stick to the pan either. Now watch it stick to the pan because we've done that. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. I think it's Alyssa because she has the sparkly hearts. Unless Neil, oh. unless Neil's using sparkly hearts. Well, Neil can use sparkly hearts if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see both of you. And if you guys do have any questions, once yes. I get back to the computer, I'll be able to see them a lot better. So if you yes. if you can hold off on your question, just wait about a few minutes because I'll mm -hmm. say drop your questions because I'll be able to see them from the computer. There you go. And. Um, you know, this is not my traditional um, St. Patrick's Day menu. Usually I will slow cook a corned beef, cabbage, carrots, and potatoes all in the slow cooker or in the Instant Pot. Um, but I didn't think we had time for that because my recipe when I make it in the slow cooker took six to eight hours and I think that would bore you guys to tears. Um, so I, I didn't want to do that. So that's why I said, well, what, what can we do that's a little bit more quick, but still in the St. Patrick's Day spirit? And then I found, um, I said, well, wait a minute, I make a Reuben casserole, so let's try that. I've been making that for years. Uh, my husband loved Reuben sandwiches, and that was a great way to feed the whole family and not have to, you know, when you're making the sandwiches and grilling them, you can only do one or two at a time. And when you have a family of four, I was like, well, we need to make more than two sandwiches at a time. So. I was like, what can I do? So came up with the Reuben casserole. Apparently it's really popular because there's a lot of recipes for them, uh, different variations online if you look them up. And Zach is here as well. Hi Zach, good to see you. Apparently the Google Moderator changed that again. Oh great. Oh yes, if anybody's messages are getting deleted, it's not me. It's not any of us. Um, that is the Google moderator team. They like to delete random messages we that don't, don't need to why. be deleted. It's me. I would have a talk with YouTube, but they'll give me a generic response like usual. Um, C H sent a five dollars super chat. I love great. I love a great Reuben. Love the orange bird apron. Oh, thank you, C H. You're so kind. Thank you very much. So appreciated. And please, like I always say, you guys never feel inclined to, like you have to donate or anything like that. I just want to have fun with all of you. Um, I, of course, appreciate greatly, um, you know, the super chats and PayPal's and all that. It's it's awesome, but I, I'm, I'm so happy with you just being here with me. So never feel like you have to do that. Okay. So we're gonna let that just kind of marry for a while. So I wanna know, I guess, what what are your guys' St. Patrick's Day traditions? Do you have a traditional meal? Is there stuff you do? Does anyone like step dance or anything like that? Producer Preston is here. Preston!
Yeah, my tradition was always, I'm not of Irish descent, but you know, everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So I always made the corned beef and cabbage and um, I either make the key lime pie because it's green or I also make a grasshopper pie. Um, I didn't make my grasshopper pie for you guys on this stream because it has to chill like overnight, um, at least a few hours and I thought that would take too long. So that's why I always adjust my menus to try to accommodate you guys because I don't want to take extra time from you. Lots of people are saying corned beef and cabbage. Mm -hmm. Does anyone do like a cottage pie or anything like that or bangers and mash? We make corned beef, cabbage, carrots, and Irish coffee. Ooh. Hand potatoes, cabbage, corned beef, cabbage, and potatoes, corned beef and cabbage, lamb stew. Ooh. Do you season the cabbage while it's cooking? Uh, we are going to season the cabbage after it cooks because if we do it now, it's all the seasoning will kind of come out because with the water. Um, so we wait till it cooks a little bit and then we're going to add um, salt, pepper, and some um, chicken bouillon. So if you guys do have any questions, again, um, mm -hmm. if you are able to wait just a little bit, um, we'll kind of do like a Q&A segment, if that makes sense, because it's hard to bounce between everything. Right. But um, Herschel and Margie Linney sent a $5 super oh, chat. Thank um, you. Love you guys. Tell Peter I subscribed to his channel. Oh, we will have to do that. Well, very, we will for sure. That's so nice. Thank you. And CH sent a five dollars super chat. I've only had, I've only ever had Lucky Charms for St. Patrick's Day. Me too, <laughs> CH. You're not alone. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Well, and here's something. I don't know if Carlos has heard this because we're both from New England or anyone from New England. I've heard, and I don't know if it's true or not, because like I said, I'm not really of Irish descent. Um, that the corned beef and cabbage is actually called a New England boiled dinner, and it was invented by like Irish American immigrants when they moved here. Um, I don't know if there's truth to that, but that's the story I've heard, which is interesting. And, I've, and another thing I've never tried that I'd like to is um, Irish soda bread. I've made it, but not on stream. It's so good. So a lot of people are saying they love your apron. Oh, thank you so much. I love it too. It's so cute. I love Orange Bird. What's that to love about him? And you can see, Nicholas, this is starting to cook down. And it's getting to the point where we're gonna add our spices in maybe a minute or two. But it's nice and green for St. Patrick's Day. It is. Mm -hmm. So do you wear green on St. Patrick's Day? If I remember. Do you get a shamrock shake? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, our tradition after school on St. Patrick's Day was my mom or my dad would take me to McDonald's and get me a Happy mm. Meal and a shamrock shake. I remember that so vividly and I loved it. <laughs> it was such a treat. Sebastian the Crab is here. Hi Sebastian the Crab. I love that name too. Max K is wearing green now. All right, Max K, getting in the spirit. I'm wearing blue. <laughs> Nicholas, gotta I get it with the program. I have no green. <laughs> no green. That means we have to pinch you, right? Ooh. If you're not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day, they it's not St. Patrick's Day. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you got away with it this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, it's, it's, everyone has different um, traditions, which is nice, and um, I always like to listen to, um, like, I always break out my Lord of the Dance playlist <laughs> on St. Patrick's Day, and like, um, all the Celtic uh, fiddle music, I love that stuff. Um, I think it's awesome. Mighty say fourteen ninety nine super chat. Oh, Mighty. What a great way to spend St. Patrick's Day with you. Mighty, thank you so much. You are awesome. I really appreciate that so much. And if you notice, Nicholas, what's happening to this cabbage while it's cooking down? It's cooking. Isn't it turning more green? It is turning more green. Yeah. Gail says it's a big drinking day for us here in Northern Ireland. Oh, I bet. I bet it is. You got to get a good 
kind of Guinness, right? And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that they want they uh, serve it warm or room temperature in Ireland, right? I heard it's like a cardinal sin to serve it cold, but that could just be folklore too. I don't know. You should put Kermit the Frog out here. Oh, pie's ready. I'm gonna see if it actually is ready. Yep, it sure is. So I'm gonna let the steam come out of the oven and then I'm gonna grab the pie. We're gonna cool the pie for 10 minutes and then we put it in the fridge uh, to set. How long does it set in the fridge? Eh, usually about an hour, but I'm gonna, have him put the, you know, that power, power blast. Power blast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because we did that for like the lumpia and it like yeah. took like five minutes versus 24 hours. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Isn't it pretty? And we'll jazz it up later with some whipped cream. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I'm going to let it set for 10 minutes. When it sets for 10 minutes, Richard, I'm going to have you... 4.37. Thank you. We're going to either um, put that plastic lid on it and put it in the fridge out there to cool real fast or on the blast show, or you can cover it with foil, whichever you want. And we're going to leave our oven on at 3.50, so I did not forget to turn it off or anything. We just need it to stay that way. Okay. Oh, this is coming out really nicely. See how it's cooking down, Nicholas? Yes. Okay, so this is the point where we're gonna start to season, okay? So we're gonna put some salt. Jazz of family says, R. John's is waiting for samples. I think he is. A salt, a little pepper. And it says two bouillon cubes. Now I use this better than bouillon chicken base. And it says to use two teaspoons of it will be two cubes of bouillon. So it's gonna put this in here. Disney World Castle became a French chef. Oh, thank you so much, Disney World Castle. That's so kind of you. You guys are awesome. Kevin, great to see you. Now, to all my, anyone who becomes a member, um, just shoot me a message on any social media platform, um, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, or Twitter, um, just to give me your contact information so I can um, send you uh, goodies and things like that from time to time. Um, what kind of liquid do you use in your corned beef and cabbage? Okay, so you have to... And I'm gonna put them here first. Okay. I used to use beer, but I've switched to a liquid now that mixes water, some sugar, and the spice packet from the corned beef along with some other spices that I add in, um, like coriander and um, a bay leaf. And yeah, that recipe is so good. I've been Josh, using it for years. Josh, welcome in. I hope you had a wonderful time at Give Kids the World. I, I um, heard about all of that, and they opened the ice cream shop, I believe. So that should have been a nice nice time. And John Bishop became an apprentice chef. Oh, John Bishop, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Always a pleasure, John. Yes, for sure. Okay, so now, if you, you guys can probably see this, right? They can see yeah, I'll it. move them over. And you'll have to excuse me, guys. I'm not seeing my best with my glasses on, but I have to wear them right now. So <laughs> but, um, yeah. This is um, the color you want to get on your cabbage, and it's it's cooking down probably another minute or two, um, and we'll be ready to mix in the potatoes um, and the bacon. In fact, I can probably put the bacon in here now and warm that up. But I have all the chopped bacon here. This was eight slices. You can do six to eight, depending on your you know, taste for bacon. You can leave it completely out. So that's that's another thing. You can always customize the recipe to meet your needs and what you like. 
because what Donna likes might not be what everyone else likes, and I get that. Elena K808 is here. Hi, Elena. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Um, and Disney World cast lost, so there was a way to private message you on Facebook. Yes, yes. Just look up my name, um, Donna Jaworski, and you should be able to message me. Okay, so look at that. Doesn't it look colorful with the bacon in there now, too? It's not just green, um, which is nice. Yeah, that's right. I'm just making sure I did everything right. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, and I'm going to take this spoon out of here because I'm going to use my spatula, is we're going to put the potatoes in with the cabbage. Now because I made my, um, I did a little bit different from the recipe and made my potatoes ahead of time, and the reason I did that was for you guys because I didn't want you waiting literally for the potatoes to boil while, you know, we're just standing here. So I, I made them ahead of time but they're now at room temperature and I want to warm them up. So I'm going to put them in with the cabbage. The recipe says to put the cabbage in with the potatoes, but we're doing it just a tad differently. And I'm turning the heat off because we don't want to cook the potatoes anymore at this point. We just want to warm them up. This is going to be really good. I don't think you think this is going to be good because I don't think you like cabbage. No. I knew it, but that's okay. There's other stuff you like. Yes. I think you'll like the pie. Yes. I think you'll like the shape. Yes. Mm -hmm. Has anyone ever made ham, cabbage, and noodles? No, I haven't, but it sounds delish. Okay, try to get as much out of there as you can. You don't have to be too terribly picky. I don't like to waste, so. Mighty it. says, what are your thoughts on food colorings? Okay. So I try to use them sparingly. Like, we're going to use some today, actually, in our shamrock shake. And I don't like putting a lot in just because, the, even though it's, like they say, it's natural and safe and all that, I just, to me, it's unnatural. Um, if the food isn't colored that way, I don't like to, you know, necessarily color it like that. Um, but because it's St. Patrick's Day, and like when you color Easter eggs, it's only the outside of the egg, I don't have an issue with that so much. Um, if you, I wouldn't recommend like using food coloring in your everyday dining. Andrew Ford became an apprentice chef. Oh, thank you, Andrew. And well, Jennifer good. Piccolo sent a $20 super chat. Jennifer. A little contribution towards all the delicious treats that you teach Aww. us to make each stream. Thank you for the warmth and love you send out to your Disney family each week. We love you with three oh. shamrock emojis. Jennifer, thank you so much. You are just Or awesome. four leaf clover emojis, I guess. <laughs> yeah, clovers, we'll call them clovers. Okay. Shamrock, St. Patrick's Day emojis, we'll call them that. <laughs> oh, Nicholas. I, Jennifer, you're so kind. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. And I love right back at you. I love all of you guys, you know that. You mean so much to me. Okay, that's hot because we just turned the burner off. Are we moving back here? I'm moving back here, but I've got to move the pie. Am I moving back there? Yeah, you can move back here. Okay. Because what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to put the cold pan in into a casserole dish and bake it. So I'm going to get my dish. And I put, um, I sprayed nonstick cooking spray, Pam, whatever brand you like. Um, on the bottom so it's nothing sticks. I use my Temptation ceramic um, So it usually wouldn't stick anyway, but just as good measure, you know Cassidy West just became an apprentice chef. Oh Cassidy. Thank you so much Welcome in So thank if you. you guys have any questions now would be a great time to ask because I can mm -hmm. see the chat much better and speaking of questions um, Patty Wagon says, would you ever do a vegetarian cooking stream sometime? I would love to. That would be fun. In fact, I'm thinking I might do that with Meg. You got two minutes. <laughs> Richie's trying to be early. <laughs> because um, Meg is vegan and has a lot of um, dietary restrictions and I want to make falafel and things with her that she can eat because I think everyone should be able to enjoy and indulge in the kitchen and um, I think we're going to do um, a show together sometime making all kinds of uh, vegetarian and vegan friendly foods. 
Disney Steve just became an apprentice chef. Oh, Disney Steve, thank you so much. Okay. So, as you can see, it's going to fill this 11 um, by 7 by 2 inch dish pretty well. And it's going to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes in the oven at 350. And just spread it evenly because you don't want, you know, one side to be like pile of pie and then this one to be low because then you'll have crispy coal cannon on one side and uncooked on the other. That wouldn't be fun. But this is a really lovely version of coke cannon because traditionally you, you don't bake it. At this point you might serve it this way, which would be fine. Um, but we're going to bake it off for about 40-45 minutes. Then we're going to put cheese on the top to make it even better. And then we're going to put it back in for the cheese to melt and then it'll be done. So it's going to be really good. Okay, so it doesn't say to put foil on it, so I guess I'm not going to do that. And the CH sent a $5 super chat. CH. The People's Champ and Super Nick, you're too kind. CH, Aww, thank you for the wonderful streams. You. It's Joey's World, thank you for your YouTube videos. Aww. And let me see if I missed it's any. It's Joey's World, Joey rocks. Okay. How do you shred your cabbage? A food processor? No. Um, I actually, whoops. I actually just use my um, chef's knife. This is the exact knife I used right here. And what I do is I cut my cabbage in half, then I core it, and then I just chop, 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 chop. It took less than five minutes to uh, get my three cups of cabbage that way. But you could definitely use a food processor if you prefer. Um, you could use a box grater if you want to, but yeah, I just find using my chef's knife is simple, it's easy, the less equipment the better sometimes. Yeah. The pie was very good. Did you eat it already? <laughs> Richie says the pie was good. I already ate it. Okay. So next we're going to assemble our Reuben casserole. So new recipe, Nicholas. Do you have a Disney cutting board? I do not. I should get one. You should buy me one, Richie. <laughs> yeah, Richie. Okay. Richie. Okay. So I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna put these away and get the ingredients for the Reuben casserole. sandwich and putting it in a casserole form. So we have um, a pound of corned beef, but I, I use pastrami in this instance. And oops, I just find it's a little leaner. That's why I chose it. So you just kind of cube it. So that's my um, corned beef or um, pastrami. You can use whatever you like. Sometimes I use turkey pastrami too, which is really good if you're watching your calories. Um, also, we need 16 ounces of sauerkraut, which you've got right here, your favorite, Nicholas. What? Sauerkraut. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, Tree Tree just became an apprentice chef. Oh, thank you, Tree Tree. Um, so yeah, I rinse this really well because you want to get all the brine off of it if it's in a jar and all that. So you want to get all of that saltiness and brininess out of it. And then I put it on paper towels and I squeezed it and then I put it on paper towels again. Because you don't want a soggy casserole and that's why I do it that way. So this is what 16 ounces of sauerkraut looks like all rinsed and drained. And then we need a cup of Thousand Island dressing and I've got some of an old, uh, older bottle and then I've got another new bottle because I don't have enough for the cup and my bottle that I have open. Then we've got two and a half cups of shredded Swiss cheese. Now again, my lovely Publix did not have shredded Swiss cheese. So I just went with the slices and we're just going to layer them on top. So you can always make do. It's not um, rocket science. You just make 
do with what you've got. And they didn't have the shredded. I could have crumbled this, but I'm just going to use the slices and go with that. And then we have, let's see, six slices of rye bread. I use marbled rye pumpernickel. And I just cut it into one inch cubes. And there you have it. So it says preheat the oven, layer the corned beef on the bottom of the baking dish. Okay, does that sound easy to you? Yep. Okay. So I'm just gonna spread that out. There we go. Perfect. Put some in there. Patty Wagon says that would be awesome if you did a vegetarian stream. I'm vegetarian and looking for new ways to cook. Um, vegetarian and to get more protein. Oh, that would be awesome. Absolutely. We will definitely be giving that in the future for sure. What should the oven be heated to? Okay. I was wrong when I said everything was 350. Um, I'm blaming it on my glasses wearing. Um, <laughs> this one you bake at 400, but what I'm going to do is bake it longer at 350 with the cold pan and bake because I want everything to bake at the same time. Okay, so you just evenly spread that on the bottom of your pan. And then sauerkraut comes next. I want to make sure I get all the layers correct. And uh, Alexis the Universal just became an apprentice chef. Oh. Alexis at Universal. Thank you so much. And yes, so if anybody's messages are getting deleted again, that is the it's Google Monitor us. team. That's not us. We don't we delete things that need to get deleted, not things that do not need to get deleted. So um, Thank you, Nicola. just bear with us for that one. Okay. So as you can see, guys, we are layering here. And now we've got our uh, pastrami and or corned beef, whatever you want to use, and our sauerkraut. And now it says to drizzle the dressing on top of the sauerkraut. Hey, Ruby. Hello. So, okay, I'm just going to eyeball it and make sure everything gets covered. And always shake your dressing before you pour. Before you pour. Um... And JL said, do you like the green Mighty Morphin Ranger? Hi, JL. You know, I do. Um, but my favorite Power Ranger is the pink one. You know, girl power. I'm going to go with her. Surf Bum says hi. Hi, Surf Bum. Hi, John. Bum. <laughs> John says hi to Rich, too. Rich. Hi. They said Rich. Alyssa Neal said, Richie does the dishes in a musical way. It's a Richie symphony. <laughs> We need, we need a dish song for Richie. We do. Richie does I'm the dishes. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yeah. You are. Richie's doing the dishes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we made Sam laugh. Chloe says enjoying the stream. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, you just kind of eyeball it as little or as much as you like. There you go. And that's the dressing. And now we do the cheese. And it says when you put the cheese on to press firmly, which we will be doing. Alyssa Neal says, Richie in the platters. <laughs> Richie's cleaning the platters. <laughs> Triple A Sparkles is here. Hi, Triple A Sparkles. Good to see you. Mindy Girl says, I heard Sam. Giggles. And I'm just going to make sure this all gets covered in the cheese. And this was a uh, 12 slices, uh, 8 ounces of just Swiss cheese slices because I could not find for the life of me shredded Swiss anywhere. Um, so, but it's all good. Jay, I wants to know if you like the dragon sword. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sorry, Jay, I don't know what that is. I feel bad when I don't know what it is. Okay, so this says to press it down firmly, and that's what I'm going to do. And now, <laughs> arrange the bread on top of the casserole and spray it with cooking spray so that it toasts up nicely. 
Mike V says, everything about Donna seems so wonderful. Oh my gosh, that's so kind. Then you see the Patriots cutting board. Go Eagles. Oh. See, I pause. <laughs> Okay, so I wonder why shredded Swiss isn't a thing. I know. I don't know why it was hard to find. So strange. But um, it says you can spray the bread or you can put butter on it. I'm going to do butter and mix it. So I'll melt some butter and we'll uh, put it in the bread. Anytime, Mike. No worries. <laughs> okay. This shouldn't take like 30 seconds. 29, 28. Don't 20. start with me, Nicholas. Okay, now count. 26. Don't be fresh. <laughs> Jeffrey Pops says I can get shredded Swiss here in Connecticut. Yeah, I, I usually can. I don't know if they just didn't get a shipment or something. I'm not sure. It's so strange. CH said, sent a $5 super chat oh, and said, we don't hold the Patriots cutting board against her. Even us Colts oh. fan thinks the people's chance, the people's well, champ is amazing. You. Thank you so much. And I'll be honest. Aaron, hello. I'll be honest with you, CH, because, um, well, I'm, as you know, I'm from New England, so it's my home team. But I also like a lot of other teams but are gone wild. <laughs> um, I love the Packers. I like the Buccaneers. Um, I like a lot of different teams. It's like fireworks. I know. Ooh. Fireworks in the microwave. And so I'll just toss that. Okay. Tiki Man fan likes your cutting board. Who? What? Tiki Man fan likes your cutting board. Well, thank you, Tiki Man fan. Okay, so this is the buttered bread, and it's still a little dry, I think. So I'm going to do one better and um, spray it with more butter spray. Did you do that on purpose? No. Richie. Okay. And look at this, Nicholas. This is Hi. recipe number what? Three out of five? Three out of five. Because we have the um No. This is two out of five. What are we on? The casserole? Well we made the pie. Yeah. We made the coal cannon and the okay. casserole. Right? Yes, so we have the potato candy and the shake left. What is Irish potato candy? I want to look at this recipe. Oh, you're going to like that. Okay, so here's what you it looks sure? like, guys. I you, butter... said I, you said I'm going to like things that I haven't liked before. It's got cream cheese, coconut, and sugar. Oh, okay. <laughs> and cinnamon. <laughs> I'm looking at the pictures here. And, uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like now. I buttered it and... Um, sprayed extra butter on it because it was still a little dry and you don't want like really dry bread. So I'm going to put this in the oven and we will bake it with the cold cannon. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. Lava las manos. That's right. And then we're going to make potato candy. Mm-hmm. I will get that in. If you guys haven't already, also hit the like button. I totally messed up the microwave with the photo. What is it all dirty? Uh, it exploded on one of my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it actually a mess? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up. I need to. Say you. Richie, okay. get on it. <laughs> I, I, can, I do the camera. I don't I have to. Okay. I'm just here for the camera. <laughs> That's my job. Um, Irish potato candy. So we got to pin it to the top? Yep. Okay. 
So we got a quarter cup of softened butter, uh, four ounces of cream cheese softened, vanilla extract, four cups of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, and two and a half cups of flaked coconut and some ground cinnamon. I have so potato candy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so this stuff. And I might need my mixer. My hand mixer, so look at that. But we're gonna start by putting the butter and the cream cheese into the bowl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it will cooperate. There we go. And then four ounces of cream cheese. J JC says butter explosion. It was a butter explosion. I don't know if y'all heard it. It was loud. It sounded like fireworks. I've not had that happen like that before. That was really weird. Okay, so we're going to put it James says, is anybody in the chat a baseball fan? If you're a baseball fan, put a baseball emoji in the chat. I'm a baseball fan. Okay, so. I love baseball. I like the Rays. I like the Red Sox. Richie's a baseball fan. I even like the Cubs. I know people, that's not popular with people. So we're gonna mix this up. See, there's some people putting baseball emojis. I love baseball. I love your apron, Donna. So cute. Orange Bird is my favorite. Thank you for all you do. I love your cooking Sundays. Well, thank you so much. Who said that? <laughs> I just read the message. Uh, Kimber 53 FL. Oh, thank you, Kimber. That's so funny of you. So I'm just gonna do this on low and get the butter and cream cheese mixed well together. Jill and says, yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry. What? Okay, Jill says, let's see if we can get Donna to 3,000 subscribers. Oh, thank you. She is only 100 away. Really? Oh, I didn't even know that. Thank you. And see, it doesn't take that long with a um, hand mixer. If you were doing it by hand, it would have taken a lot longer, been a lot more of a pain. Uh, let's see. Okay. Since when do you have an orange bird emoji? Hmm? Since when do you have an orange bird emoji? I put it in there. Was that for today? No. Oh, it's just been there? It's been there since the last time, but I forgot to tell everyone. If you're a member, I have new emojis. <laughs> I'm just telling you that now. I'm so bad. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna add the vanilla and- No need to apologize. <laughs> you have no need to apologize for that. Just so you all know, she has no need to apologize for that. Oh, so we're gonna add the vanilla. No need to apologize for that. <laughs> it sounded like vision. <laughs> and our confectioner sugar. And beat until smooth. So I you can be Wanda. Oh, you can be Wanda. <laughs> Wanda can't see. She lost her vision. No. Let's see. It says beat until smooth. So I shouldn't have taken but these off. But she wants to spoil it for sure. everyone. But is that in there? No. That's not Jerry there. says my dad and I would listen to them on the tr um, Transistor late radio. Transistor radio. Yeah, that thing. And the tractor radio. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I don't know why this beater doesn't want to go back in. Maybe I have them backwards again. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on. No, that didn't go in. Why is the beater not going in? Just beat it. Just beat it. <laughs> okay, I think I had it the right way. Why did I second guess myself? There we go. 
John Morgan is here. Hi, John. Hey, John. Welcome in. Okay. Now I gotta wash my hands because I just made a nap. Again. But we're gonna make a mess anyway because we're gonna get our hands in this later. But I've got gloves for that. Did you wash your hands after the microwave? Yes. <laughs> that was a mess. Has that been cleaned yet? Huh? Has that been cleaned yet? No. I've gotta take time to do that. <laughs> Richie, Unless you want to like selfie while I do it. <laughs> so you want to do this on a low speed, like the lowest it can go, because you do not want powdered sugar. I already had butter explode everywhere, so we don't want a powdered sugar explosion. This would be like the Donna Blooper show. <laughs> UK Disney Keith and Mandy says Donna Vision. Aww. You're such a wonderful cook. Thank you for the stream. Oh, thank you, UK Mandy and See Keith. that could go right into the song. Donna Vision, Donna Donna Vision. <laughs> um, Brittany says, Hello, the beautiful Miss Donna. Love oh, your hello. Sunday cooking streams. Oh, Gives me ideas for the week. Thank you. Sending hugs from New York. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Hugs right back at you. JL says, Once all the Power Rangers are on YouTube, you're going to have to go back and re watch them all. Absolutely. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit on. You want to do a watch party stream? That'd be awesome. Let's see. So it says using. You can. You know. You can do. Say. You can make Power Ranger cupcakes. <laughs> and then have like a pink cupcake, a blue one. What are the colors? I don't even know the colors. A pink one, a blue one, a red one. <laughs> Lothar, a two dollar Canadian super chat. Hello. Oh. What are you making? Thank you, Lothar. We are making Irish potato candy. Yes. Um, we are beating the um, butter. Cream cheese, vanilla extract, and confectioner sugar. And it's saying it should get smooth, but it's just kind of powdery. Um, so sure um... If you if you're just joining the stream and you're at, if you ever wonder what's being made, if you see the link at the top of the chat, it's just it's right there. It says blue. It says I'm making the recipe link here. You can click on that. It takes you right to the recipe. And John Morgan sent a fifty dollar oh my super God, chat. John. I will personally sponsor a blooper reel. <laughs> John, you so would you too. Go. Thank you so much. I miss you, my friend. We've got to get together really soon, for sure. Yeah, it's been a while, John. It really has. I'm Michael so Riley is here. It's, it's all on me. That's been my dad. Okay, now it's coming together. Okay. It just takes time, I guess, guys. I'm going to try turning it up a little bit more. And maybe that's not a good idea. Because we don't want stuff flying in. I know. It's my. It's all on me. I've been so crazy busy and then I was sick and ugh. It was a mess. Anthony the Moore Man is here. Hi Anthony. Welcome in. Okay, so this obviously just takes a little bit longer to mix um, because now it's getting that dough consistency. And if I had stopped when I was going to, it wouldn't be where we needed it. So I gotta keep going. And just keep beating it, be patient. But don't do it at too high of a speed because you'll have stuff all over your kitchen and you don't want your kitchen looking like my microwave does right now. So just be mindful of that. Okay. That looks about right. It's kind of like a dough. I only have the manual blending options. Can you heat each cream cheese and butter or would that mess it up? No, you could do it. You could do it with a fork and or a pastry blender. It just takes longer. Just make sure that you have it softened to room temperature and you should have no problems at all. So now we need two and a half cups of um, shredded coconut, which I have here. Coconut. Let's see. You have green candy patties. We do. You want to show the stream? Green candy. Was this for Christmas or for St. Patrick's Day? No, that's Day? for Easter, actually. Oh, well, there's <laughs> flowers on it. I'm going to have one. Yeah, they're good. They're in the shape of Easter egg. Are they? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's just gonna go in. I'm gonna put they my- They are. It's an Easter egg peppermint <laughs> patty. I'm gonna um, 
put my gloves on and then I'm also gonna put the cinnamon in a little dish so we can roll the potatoes, potato candy in it when we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over here. And this, you can see, we need to use up that over here. There, okay, perfect. I'm just gonna put these back in the fridge real quick. That's not allowed. <laughs> Can't do that. You're fine. Okay, so JL's giving you some advice on Power Rangers cupcakes. Oh, okay, great. If you do OG Power Rangers cupcakes, mm -hmm. for Mighty Morphin, you can do green, white, red, black, yellow, and pink and blue. Okay, that sounds good to me. So you'd have to combine all those. Right. Well, that's good to know. Thank you, JL. That's a good tip. Okay, so now because this is going to be a messy job mixing it, uh, the coconut and everything in, just going in with my hands, gloved hands, and you want to incorporate all of that coconut into the buttercream cheese, confectioner sugar, and vanilla mixture. And it's going to take a little bit because you know you got to make sure you get all of it in. Jennifer says, I was bad. I just ate a Reese's peanut butter egg. Ooh. Aren't the eggs? Richie ate one of those earlier before the stream. And he's got all this food coming. Ooh. He's spoiled. That's left over from there. Christmas. We have the eggs. They're right there in front of oh, me. It was right on top. They still have Christmas candy. They have trees. You want an egg? Halloween candy. You, you want an egg? We have chocolate. So... Nicholas. She says she doesn't like chocolate. I'm giving you the first taste. What is it? It's just cream cheese, butter. It's all the stuff we, we just did. Mm. You'll like it, I promise. And, okay, I don't know. I didn't know if you were trying I to like poison me or not. Of course I would never. I like it. Mmm. Isn't it good? So now we're going to... But it has chocolate. We're going to form it into the shape, you know, roughly of a potato. So it looks like that. There you go. Then we're going to just dust it in the Dreamer cinnamon. Well, hello, Dreamer Devil. I don't want to hear you don't like chocolate anymore because that, that's pure chocolate. Can you believe that? I know. Just that's that chocolate. Like chocolate. I'm, now you got me saying chocolate and it's cinnamon. Chocolate, chocolate, mm. chocolate. <laughs> so there, we have one potato already. Listen, you'll say we made it off the Skyliner alive. Oh, well, there I'd you sure go. hope so. Yay. Now it's time for chocolate. And I believe you can mix cocoa in with your cinnamon. Jerry says, pass the peanut butter egg. Pass the peanut butter egg. <laughs> Here, I'll pass one to the camera. Catch it, Jerry. <laughs> oh, that's so kind. Thank you. And see, it looks like what does it look like, Nicholas? A potato. Okay? A potato. And there you go. What? <laughs> it looks like a potato. I'm Josh was saying on a stream, you know, he, I don't know if you heard this. He said, is it zebra or zebra? I said zebra. It's a zebra. UK says zebra. They do. Instead of cinnamon, can you use cocoa powder? You can. You can indeed. The Reese's eggs are better than the regular peanut butter cups. The eggs and the trees are the best. They taste much better. I don't know if, if they, I don't know if they, what they put in them. I don't know why they said use one tablespoon of cinnamon. Look, my cinnamon's almost all gone. Mm. Maybe I'll do some in cocoa powder and some in cinnamon. There we go. Or maybe I can mix some of um, cinnamon and cocoa together. <laughs> Mm 
And you want to shake the excess cinnamon off because you don't want to bite into a big thing. You've seen that cinnamon challenge craziness, right? You don't want to hold yeah, with people of like cinnamon. eat all the cinnamon. No. Dreamer Deborah says, "Have you ever made? Have you ever made or even tasted scotch eggs?" Oh yes, they're delicious. Scotch I have eggs. not made them, um, but I've had them, and they are so delicious. You looking for something? <laughs> Just seeing what's around. Did we confuse you? No. no, he was just like scanning the room. I didn't know if he was looking for something. Is it nap time or something? It's always nap time. <laughs> it's, it's always nap time. Richard, you want to do me a favor? Can you grab uh, the Hershey's cocoa powder out of the um, pantry? I was going to use the rest of my cinnamon. Oh, we have a visitor. Want to answer? Is it someone we know or is it like someone? I think it might be someone we know. Or is it someone that's going to like dominate? It might be a special guest. We'll see. I didn't even know about this. You don't even tell me this. Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. Here, let me see. So we're gonna dump some into there and we'll just get a fork and mix it. Wait, that's good. <laughs> if you can get me a plastic fork and I'll mix it. I never get told. Sorry, Nicholas. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, oh, surprise, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing now, Nicholas, I decided to try mixing uh, the cocoa powder and cinnamon. Um, to get a different flavor. Oh, that looks even more like a potato. A potato. Hi! Hi, it's guess who's here? Oh, jeez. You want to say hi? Sure. It's Jeff and Ange from Dizar Dream. Hi. Richie, you're blocking Jeff. You're supposed to play planning it. Have you been on YouTube before? No, this is so what? awesome. Like, there Explain I am. YouTube to me. <laughs> What are you making? What's I am making Irish potato candy right now. We have um, cool can and bake in the oven and a Reuben casserole in the oven. The key lime pie is chilling. We've almost knocked out, what, this is number four. This is our fourth oh recipe. Gosh. Just the shamrock shake is left. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Boy, I'm, it's I'm like really in the gym kitchen. Reuben <laughs> casserole. Wow. Key lime. That's pretty awesome. Hey, Stacy, how's it going? Stacy. You got my Everyone, that's, in, the, that's everyone in the chat is saying hi. Uh, <laughs> so that's Irish potato candy. Mm -hmm. Come on around. So Grab what? one. They're ready to eat. Is it really oh. candy? Mm -hmm. Don't tell them I it's candy. Because we can't eat it. It's not oh, candy. Oh, no. Yeah, it's got um, cream cheese, butter, okay. uh, confectioner's sugar, vanilla, and then we roll it in cinnamon and cocoa powder. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not really that. candy. I'll eat that. That's not, that's it's not like a Hershey's kiss. You're fine. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. No. Well, that's yeah. different. Are you okay. going to go try one? <laughs> I will, I will have them, yes. No, I gave up sugar for lunch. Well, no, we um, gave up like candy, candy. and sweets uh, okay. and like bad stuff for you, but this is yeah. good stuff. Uh, good. It's made from Ghana, so it's good. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's healthy. Oh my God. Anne says, can we get an HGTV house tour sometime? Sure, actually Sam has done a house tour, but she hasn't done a house tour since I got it's the house been furnished. Yeah, it's been like and, um, fully redone. Got the new lighting, and yeah, we did some work in here. So there. Sam's got to do another house tour. Yeah, because we painted even the porch. So oh, nice. Did. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't know that, Nicholas? No, you guys don't tell me anything. That happened like before Christmas. Everything was brown. No, you guys don't yeah. tell me anything. Oh, you so, did paint out here. Mm -hmm. Is this I repost like, gray? I like the shade of gray? Is this repost gray? Is this the same color as that? Williams? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought you knew. No, you never told and me you that was getting on painted. The last, like, how many streams? Yeah, but you never told me that was getting painted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never knew this got painted either. I don't hardly see you anymore. Yeah. Ever since you drive, I don't get to talk to you. Lady Disaster, great to see you. Hi, Lady Disaster. Okay. So aren't these beautiful? And you can make them as big or as little as you want to. Um, you know, because potatoes are not, not perfect. And 
they come in all different. You know, Dad shapes. builds us here. We gotta watch what we say. Oh, hi, Chris. <laughs> now we now we have to be like. Clean, I know right? nothing. I'll make a small one. Good to see you, Dad builds. But we can't say anything, cause he'll grab it and use it against us. <laughs> Do you see? Did you? Hear but if you point said? it out, he'll take it. He can't point I'm it out. I'm not saying what you said, but I heard but he, it. He, <laughs> you said something you should not have said. <laughs> yeah, but you're. You said. She's taking it in a different context, though. Because I know how they think. <laughs> yeah, he thinks bad. Uh huh. Do you think the recipe would work oh for substituting it? Um, stevia? Ste stevia for confectioner sugar. Those are adorable. They look like little potatoes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Now, um, I don't know how it would come out using stevia, and I'm not sure. Does stevia come in a powdered form? Those would be my only two concerns about it. But I always say try it at least once because even if it's a fail, you know. Well, I won't do that one again, and you can go from there. Hannah Anderson says hi. Hi, Hannah Anderson. Okay, so who wants to try a potato? How's the um, how's the pie one. coming along? Just out of curiosity. Come Everyone wants to see your beautiful face. Oh, did you put the power fridge on or power burst? Uh, that would be Richie. Richie, because he's he's has he's forgotten things okay. before. Richie, oh, did rolling up the sleeves. Richie, okay. so did you put the power burst, burst on? Right. Okay. Is it okay if I use your? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands first, real quick. Not that I was touching anything in the car. Oh, you gotta get the paddles, Richard. It's time to taste. Oh, so hold taste. on. The what? We have we have tasting paddles. Oh, okay. I thought you got the paddles like for my car. <laughs> I'm gonna take the small one. Clear. Oh, I was gonna cheat. There's another thing. Sam, are you gonna use a paddle? No. What? No. Oh my goodness, they're so adorable. Okay. Richie, you get a rate. Wait, I... Are we all going to try at the same time? We're going to try at the same time and then we, okay. we, we do a, a rating on our, our little paddles. Yeah. We all have... Oh, you grabbed that little one I had my eye on. <laughs> oh, this Come on, Jeff, you, you can share with me. Here, I'll write their name on it. Oh, I'll there write you all go. Oh, and then we're going to rate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Joey's world made those for us. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I love it. Best gift ever. <laughs> ever. Okay. Right. Jeff or Ian can have that. All right. Sure. I'm, Jeff, I'm tough. So. No, you're not. Okay. Rich. Rich. Oh, I need Rich. Where do you want me to stand? Let's Wherever stand. you want to. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're heavy. All right. Okay. Jeff, you're going to share with me. I'll right? share with you. Yes. Ready? Okay. Go yes. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Okay, Jeff. Mmm. Did you eat any? Yeah, let me take another little bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Really good. Oh. Mmm. So good. Was it one to ten? One to five? One to ten. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. <laughs> so simple, too. Wow. Make a final. Oh, sure. Okay, what do I, you won't, I won't put mine next to Richie's because he'll take mine. Uh, and I'll take his. <laughs> one to ten. I still enjoy it. I'm, I'm still evaluating. <laughs> I can tell you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I messed that up. Okay, you gotta There's so many flavors going on there. Right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing. Oh, that's pretty pathetic. It's been one to ten? Mm -hmm. Ten being the best? Yes. Yeah. I tried to draw a shamrock on mine to be tested. It didn't work. <laughs> now your headband's adorable. Oh, thank you so much. It's adorable. Thank you. I got it at um, icing mm. online. They were okay. like three for ten bucks. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a great deal. And then your paper, of course, is awesome. Oh, thank yeah. you. Okay. okay. The verdict's in. The big reveal. All right. And three, two, one. Flip. Oh, oh. <laughs> got, oh, 11. Okay. Oh. Oh, you got festive with your Mickey. I, I like that. it. I the Mickey's. All right. Nice. Yeah. Right. And nice. these are great. I'll move this out of the way. So you can <laughs> these are that means Richie's taking it. Kids. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you know they can get their hands in there. Like I put my, you know, food gloves on and mm -hmm. just got in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know how kids are—they want to manipulate. Right. Yeah, so right, right, right. it's great for them to do, and wow. they don't have to be perfect because they're potatoes. And right. They, have you seen a perfect potato? Never. Never. Okay. That was better than that. I've seen a perfect potato. Yeah. <laughs> that was delicious. Oh my Thank gosh. You. It's very good. Look, what 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 makes it chewy? What was what was it? Coconut? Yeah, it took a long time. That was the only thing. It did take a while to mix it to the right consistency. It's just cream cheese, butter, is this and mine? A, a sugar and vanilla. It's not mine. It's probably mine. Then. <laughs> Mine's gone. That one's yours. Okay, this is mine then. Hmm. And then you mix after you get it to like a dough consistency. Then you mix in the coconut. Okay. And then you pour it into the potato shape, mm -hmm. and then you roll it into either cinnamon or cocoa powder, or we did a mix of both. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. I think That's the good cinnamon stuff. worked really well with that. It's mm -hmm. really complimentary, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Very good. I'm glad we had a winner. Yay! Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So, should we move on to the shamrock shake? I'll leave the ice cream. You know what you should have? You should have had Richard go to McDonald's and grab a shamrock shake so you can compare them. Ooh. Road trip. <laughs> what are we going to compare? Car stream. Look at that. Look at that. We should have done that, though. We should have got. We should have gotten a shamrock shake from McDonald's. That would have been awesome. I can't believe how quickly we've gotten all these yeah. recipes knocked out. It's incredible. Let's see. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little quick cleanup, guys. So just hang in there, Nick. If you wanna handle I'll talk. the chat for a little bit, and if anyone has any questions or anything like that, just let me know. Joe Mama says he's playing a trip. Joe Mama says, "What's your favorite Disney hotel?" My favorite Disney hotel for me. Um, I'm very fortunate that I'm DVC. But even if I wasn't, I'd still say Wilderness Lounge. But um, because I am DVC, wow. I have to say Copper Creek um, at Wilderness Lounge. I love that Pacific Northwest feel when you go in there. That lobby is my favorite. It's so peaceful and relaxing after a crazy day at the theme parks. So yeah, that's my favorite. Todd B said, I'm still dreaming of that Fruit Loop shake. That shake is good. <laughs> The Fruit Loops shake. Everyone's liked it. Everyone's Did you like it, Sam? The Fruit Loops shake. Yeah, it, I thought it was good. Abby and Zach had the Fruit Loops shake. Abby did. I thought it was good. They said it tasted just like Fruit Loops. Yeah. It did. And that's what they said that was the one thing that they tried that tasted just like. And it's weird because it looks like blue milk, but it's not blue yeah, milk. Yeah, it exactly. It looked like blue milk, but it. I didn't think it tasted like blue milk, but. What do you go? Oh, Shamrock Shake next? Shamrock Shake, yes, sir. Okay. There we go. Yay. So, um, yeah, everyone's posting the link to Diz Ardrain. Tell everyone to, to go subscribe to them. Yay. Oh, thank you. Of course. Because you guys rock. Donna, you're too sweet. He's like, he's like, we do. No, I, I'm like, I wasn't aware of that. That's what I say about me. Don't be me. I know, right? Except for me, I had to, I had to get out. I'm just gonna let the ice cream warm up a little bit so I can scoop it better because I need three cups of vanilla ice cream. Put it in the microwave and blow it up. <laughs> I was gonna say put it in the microwave, but that would blow it up. Do you want to eat around here again? Yeah. Do oh you? Boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Okay. No worries. We got this. Okay. So, for our copycat shamrock shake, we need three cups of vanilla ice cream, a cup of whole milk, a quarter teaspoon of mint extract. It says not peppermint. However, again, my lovely grocery store only had peppermint. Thank so, you, Publix. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> so, yeah. But we're going with it. 
Even if it's a little pepperminty, we'll, we'll get there. No worries. We should have gotten a shamrock shake. Nine drops of food coloring. Someone came run and get one. You want to run and get one? It's just right down the street. By, by, the, time by the time I, I come. You're going to go get one? I'll run. I'll run you I'll go cream. Go well, I'm not, no, we don't, don't it, it's fine. No, 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 you, you just got here. You don't have to go. It's fine. No, 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 no. If anything, I'll go and get one. That's true. We do. I've never had a shamrock You've never had one? I've never had one. Have you had McDonald's? It's just right down the corner. I can go get one. No, 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 no. They just got here. We're not sending them off when they just got here. Oh, my God. He can go by himself. I'll stay. If anything, Sam and I should go, or I should go. Sam, do you want to come with me? Uh, no, you're manning the chat over there. Jeff can uh, Richie can do the chat. No, 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 no. You just got here. I'm the oldest one here. <laughs> I'm the youngest one. I should be able to go. They just, why are we sending him off? He just got here. Well, I said I was going to go get, I would have gone, I, I could go drive there. Well, he'll be back. You know how close to McDonald's is. He'll be back, and by the time the shake's done, it'll, um, he'll be back. I said I would go, though. He just got here. <laughs> if you... Okay, so we will do this. What if I go and we see who gets back this first? This segment of Dinners with Donna Let's is go and we'll see who gets back first. This is our dream. Thank you, Jeff, for getting the shake for us. And also, our partner, I'm going. Let's see you get the Orlando first. guy. I'm going. Check him out, guys. Your tires are flat, Nick. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no, oh they're racing. Oh, no. Okay. Why did we let him leave? <laughs> well, wait, I, I should go, I should go to McDonald's down there and we can see what's <laughs> back. Well, it's fine because I've got to take this out anyway, and I have to put the cheese on it. Let's see who makes it back first. Oh, my glass is steamed. I'll get, see, you've seen my glasses. I'll get one on Uber Eats. It'll be here in like two minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, guys, so look at this. This yeah, is the cold can of nice. We're going to put the shredded cheese on top. And like I said, oh, this nice. shake segment is sponsored by Dizard Dreams, so be sure to check them out. They're our good friends. Why did and we let him leave? <laughs> I told him I would go. What was I going to do? Tell him I was going to go. Have to let him go. I could tell he was gonna go whether we're yes. letting him yes. or not. That's our contribution. <sighs> and he'll be back very shortly. I'm gonna get one on Uber Eats. It'll be here in two minutes. In an hour. No, it'll be here in two minutes. It will not. Yes, it will. <gasps> what? You hit my bag? You wanna tell the stream your address? <laughs> How long does it take? <laughs> Has this been going on? We listen to Yacht Rock Radio. That's what makes it hard. We're playing some of those songs at the concert. Okay, so Nicholas, did you see what we just did? Or were you just preoccupied? No, I'm getting a, I'm getting a shake <laughs> on the reeds. So guys, I just took my um, shredded Mexican cheese blend. Um, it's just like Colby Jack, cheddar, all that good stuff. Um, if you have cheddar, you can use cheddar, Irish cheddar, even better, because this is St. Patrick's Day. But this is what I have. So that's what I topped the um, coal cannon with. And we're going to put it back in the oven for 20 minutes. 15 um, minutes. You can get one here, 15 minutes. <laughs> for the coal cannon bake. And you can, put, you can leave it without cheese if you don't want cheese on it and eat it at this point. Um, but you know, I like the cheese on it. Okay. So now this is going to go back in the oven. I guess we'll let him go. <laughs> let him go. Let him go. to leave it in there for 20 minutes. I'm going to check it at 15. Just to see how we're doing, Nicolai. Oh, the Hitchhiking Bones became an apprentice chef. Oh, thank you, the Hitchhiking Bones. Thank you so much. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. 
Okay, so the shamrock shake, we need three cups of ice cream, a cup of whole milk, um, a quarter teaspoon of mint extract. If you don't have mint, use peppermint, that's what I'm doing. Nine drops of food coloring, whipped cream, green sanding sugar, and maraschino cherries to garnish. Um, I don't have the sanding sugar today, um, but we'll work on it. Oh, here it is. Yay! Mangoes and ice cream. And see, now it's all quiet. It was all loud earlier, now it's quiet. I don't know why we, I don't know why we let him get away. We didn't let him get away, he just kind of left. <laughs> I told him I would go and get it. He Because they just got here. I've been here for two hours. I hear ya. Okay, there goes our milk. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of the extract. So I'm gonna get a quarter teaspoon because you don't want to over measure with this. As you can see, look at this. A quarter teaspoon is so tiny for this whole big thing. You've got to be careful with your extract um, when it's mint especially or lemon because you don't want to overpower. So is it, is it gonna be green? Yes, watch what happens. Watch what happens. On today's episode of Dinners with Donna, we turn a yes. shamrock shake green. Sponsored by the Orlando guy and Diz our dream. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did they know Jeff's car was closest to the road? Because <laughs> he was the last one here. What okay. if he what if I was pulled down Nicholas, and he pulled up? It's gonna get loud. Just warn everybody. All right. Attention all chatters. <laughs> it's about to get loud. Pull it, put in your earplugs if you need to. Explosion. Yeah. What? I heard someone say Donna. Is there a ghost? You know I have cups, don't you? Right here. Okay. I won't get in. I should have known you were. Prepare. Are you the sous chef? Is that a Vitamix? It is a Vitamix. I love my Vitamix. Okay. okay, let me turn the sound back up because I turned it down so you guys wouldn't get go okay. deaf. So now it's back up. Richard, that can go back in the freezer so we don't melt everything. This is going to get fun now. Okay. <laughs> See how green it turned? It did turn green. Nice. Mm -hmm. We'll see how many we get out of this. You know they have an Oreo shamrock shake now? It's like I've a mint Oreo that. one. And a McFlurry one too. Yeah. Mm. Be like a thin mint cookie, right? Yeah. It does look, it's like the same color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want a cherry if you're gonna give me a cherry. I'll get that one to Andy. Yeah, give that one to someone else. But I had to do the one for the picture. Uh, That's yeah. right, That's okay. That's beautiful one. Okay. And oh. ladies first. 
Thank you. Now we're all waiting to taste it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So See, you said he would be back by the time it was done. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. You. Well, you know how Jeff is. Well, maybe you don't know how Jeff is. He says everything's ten minutes away. We'll try this one I first. I think this needs to we'll mix more. Over. You want to pour mine back in? Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean I get to have the cherry off the top? Yes, you do. <laughs> Are you pouring it back in with the whipped cream? The way, well, we'll just dump it all in. No. Is okay. it okay if the whipped cream goes in the whipped cream? There we go. I'll keep my top. I'll reuse it. Yes. Okay, where'd I put the lid? Here. Try it without the lid on. <laughs> ah, you know what you need. You have that little. I'll thing put. I'll put. Yep. I'll put plexiglass in front of the camera. Then you can do it. You know that little thing that goes like this. I don't know what it's called. The camera. Yeah. That. And I was can, trying to get away without it. You can smoosh it. Smoosh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to get away without it. I can't always need that thing. I know, I know. But sometimes it just doesn't all, it doesn't seem like it yeah, all Yeah, the ice cream I think was hard. So okay. I kind of just yep. grabbed it and turned yep. it all over. Yep. Okay, let's try this again. Here, I can, you can Why shouldn't you mine. iron a four leaf clover? You already got a picture, right? I thought the picture was fine. So I shouldn't. Here's a question. There. Why shouldn't you iron a four leaf clover? Mm. You know? That's a good one. Hmm. Okay. Let me think. Because it will leave. No. I give up. You might press your luck. Uh -huh. oh, oh! Darn it, I should have got that one. That's from Avery. <laughs> Avery, that was good. Sam, are you having some? No cherry on yours, right? No. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Nikolai. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I'll make one for Jeff. It smells similar. And what is being made right now is always pinned at the top in that blue message. So unless you dismiss it, um, that is directly at the top. So you can just click on that link. It takes you directly to what's There's being made. Chef. If again, if you guys haven't already hit that thumbs up button, let's let YouTube know that you're enjoying the stream so far. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new, and also share out the stream with your friends and family. Let them know you're enjoying the stream so far. Okay. Well, this Nikki's a pro at this. Okay, huh? guys, you're a pro at this. Eh, not my first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, do we get straws? Oh, oh you're, you're trying to like. <laughs> are they, why are they not paper? Thank you. Me. <laughs> Ruby Princess G sent a $9.99 super oh, chat. thank you, Ruby. Keep the yummy recipes coming, Donna. Yum. Oh, thank you, Ruby. I appreciate that. That's so kind. Donna, do you have scissors? I can cut this oh. in half and Jeff and I can share a straw. Don't worry about it. I got a gazillion. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to pour what's left there. I'll taste mine with this. I only want one of Mmm. Tastes empty. It's supposed to. Are we trying it now? Mm-hmm. Okay. I know if we were gonna rate this one too. We are. Okay. Yep. Everyone, go in. Richie, you're 
Richie. Are we try oh, are we trying it on camera or no? I, I tried it off camera. Oh. Cause I didn't make a whole full one for me. No. I just wanted a little set. Okay. Ooh. I so I I knew he wouldn't. He probably went to the one McDonald's like who knows where. <laughs> yeah, somewhere who knows. Probably went to the one by All Stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one over there. I'm gonna um plate up some of the potato candy. So everything has officially been made. bit guys I'm gonna take a picture of these Irish potato candy aren't they cute um but if you have questions I gotta wipe that down um oh I can do it um where's the pie but if you have pie? questions please feel free to ask me I'll be happy to answer them for you thank you and thank you for bearing with me while I get all situated Nick, I made a hint of Mickey with the, Ooh. <laughs> with the potato candy. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I'll get everything cleaned up so we can um, have a, a plating area. Very good. Oh, thanks, Ange. And so you can make your own shamrock shake at home all year round. If that's your favorite one that they make, go for it. It was so easy and so yummy. Is this something you can check it there or there? Just put it there. Do you not like Shamrock Shake? Oh. Jenna's here. Jenna! Hi, Jenna! Just got back from Get Kids for World. Yay! That's awesome. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. That's incredible. I'm going to wash this down. Oh, this is a Patriots fan. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I'm New England originally. Nice. Yeah. That way we have somewhere to set things down. Okay. We're done with that one. These can go away. Yes, Jenna is on her phone, so she can't tag Jenna. Yeah, I, 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 I feel you. <laughs> yep. No worries, Jenna. Do you need to store the potato candy in the refrigerator since it has cream cheese in it? Yes. Yes, they will definitely, the leftovers that don't get sent home with everyone, will be in the um, fridge. Look at that. They were all 
Oh, she didn't get any? Oh, that's what happened? So how'd it go? So they didn't have any of the shake mix. But they... I got two McFlurries. So. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Shamrock McFlurry. So pretty good. Shamrock McFlurry. It's McFlurry. not a good comparison, though. They want to come back and be handed. I got your shake. Maybe if I went, they would have given me the shakes. <laughs> I can't remember, uh, they said they were out of the, the mix. Who's out? That's so strange. McDonald's. How are they out of the mix if they can make the Shamrock McFlurry? That's Isn't, what I wait, was wouldn't, wondering. It, wouldn't it be the same mix? Uh, That's what I was wondering. Uh, Jenna says she loves your apron. Oh, thank you, Jenna. This one's mine? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Eat up. Dig in. What? Or put them in the freezer. Not all there. for myself. <laughs> Just. Thank you, Jeff. Oh put my gosh. Up. Here's the. Is that good? See, this is why. Here's the McFlurry. Shamrock Shake. Because McDonald's so is out. <laughs> and they were so simple. Mm -hmm. They're so simple. Is that what, is that what they taste? I don't want it all for myself. <laughs> I can't finish all this. Yes, you can. Oh, oh, no, I can't. Yes, you can. I'll take a bite. I'm not having all of it. <laughs> am, I, am I using this spoon or should I take a sip? You have plastic silverware, right? Okay. You should do it's like a wrestling ring. Do that again. I didn't know it was gonna make that noise. Uh, we're almost ready to plate up, guys. And I'll we made it. five recipes today in under two hours. I can't believe it. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Yeah, uh, um stuff. <laughs> well they're very different. Because this one has Oreos. Mm -hmm. So it's a much different oh. flavor. It's kind of like, yep, it's yeah, like a thin mint. Yeah, okay. You can't really compare it then. Mickey's Magic Meg is here. Megan! Hi, my magical Meg. <laughs> I was telling them, Meg, that we're going to do a, a vegan and vegetarian yes. stream sometime. We've got to make falafel. I love falafel. Mm. Okay. So. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> we ready to play that? Okay. So who likes Rubens and Coke Cannon? Because I know he doesn't want any. Uh-uh. So a little piece of each. What's Coke Cannon? Okay. Coke Cannon is mashed potatoes, basically, with cabbage, bacon, and cheese. Yes, please. Oh, the key lime pie. You have to oh, get bacon. Yeah. They're asking about the key lime pie. <laughs> yeah, we got to do the key lime pie. So this is basically a deconstructed Reuben in casserole form. Nice. Yeah. Stacy says, I believe the milkshakes come out of a different machine than the McFlurries. They use their ice cream for the McFlurries, not the milkshakes. Oh. They said something was out that they couldn't make the Shamrock shakes. Wow. Hmm. CH sent a $5 super oh, chat. You, I love Rubens. Please send some to Indy. Oh, thank you. I wish I could do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> One time at Thanksgiving, I was making um, green bean casserole, uh -huh. and I sent my husband to the store to get the French fried onions because I didn't have any. Right. And he came home and he's like, I'm like, what happened? Did you get them? He's like, no. He said, you're not going to believe it. I said, what? He said, the French fried onion factory burned down. And I looked at him and I'm like, did you seriously believe that? And then he just looked at me and it, it sank in his head that he fell for it. And he's like, oh, I fell for that, didn't I? I'm like, yeah, you did. <laughs> I said, that would like be on the news. <laughs> This is like Donna's Irish booth at Food and Wine. Yes. <laughs> Except I'm sure it's a hundred times better. <laughs> well, thank you. It's really hot. Thank you. Let's see if the table will just turn the camera around. Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> yeah. Everyone bring your paddles. Oh, yeah. Come back with that. I was saving my plate. <clears throat> Maybe we should try the pie first. 
Should Does we try someone see them? <coughs> Should we try the pie first? Because this is like super duper hot. Good. That doesn't matter. Whatever you whatever you want to do. Is the pie ready? Pie is ready. Ready to rock. Pie are square. And make those are hot. Do we need one more plate for me? Yeah, the more plate's over there. What do you say pi r squared? Isn't it, I think it's pi equals 3.1, is it 3.14 r squared? What is pi? I think it's 3.14 r squared. 3.14. R squared, I think, right? Or well, 3.14. It goes on, it goes on. Yeah, no, um, well, r that's circumference. Circumference is pi r squared, or pi d, which is diameter, because the radius is half of the diameter. You know that, Richie? Um, I'll just sit next to you. So. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. No, I don't. I'll, I'm gonna point that way, and then I'm gonna come around. I think we should do the pie first because everything is really hot. I want to live in this house. Dessert <laughs> first. <laughs> he, he's so lucky. Richie is really lucky. <coughs> yeah, no, no dessert at our house typically. The kids always complain. There's nothing sweet in there. Yeah, Mind your way. I, I'm probably in the I just see my phone. I don't know where I left it. Right, you had it right. I thought it was right here. You had, I saw it here earlier. I know. What did I do with did it? Did you bake it? Can you pick I it? could have. Did, I did you bake the phone? Ping it. Yeah, abuse your watch. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's I'm, I'm forever pinging my phone. Ding! 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 Ping it. There it is. I know where mine is. <laughs> oh, mine's in the car. Oh, you left your phone in the car? Oh, okay. okay, so I'll plate it up. Pie girl? Yeah, just a little. Jeff and I will share Donna. Okay. It's going to be a pinging stream. Yeah, I know. We'll, Jeff, just, we'll Jeff, just rename it stream where we ping it. <laughs> you hear that all the time at home, right? Oh my gosh. It's like your watch. Or your phone is in here. <laughs> Pi is three point. No, I was Stacy. I was talking about circumference. The circumference of a, of a circle is three point one four or pi r squared or three point one four or pi, and then times the diameter. But pi is three point one four one five nine two six five three five nine, and it just goes on. I'll just stop it. That's from Stacy though. <laughs> Math class. I only know There's it from. A pie guy. I only know three point one four one five nine two. You can take I'll have a taste. Yeah. You should make. Are you streaming on the 14th? If you, if you stream this, it would be five. You would have to go high stream. It would be all high all day. If you stream, you'd have to make. You'd have to do a just a pie stream. You can make pizza. You can make pie. You can make. You can make anything that has to be. Pizza for National Pie Day. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, for the March 14th. March 14th. Yes. Yeah. Are we supposed to have forks? I'll take one from here. Everything looks the same. I'll just come in the back. <laughs> I'll make sure we can see. Come on. And I'm just going to take one more picture. You can, you can do the um, rating, because I know you like to do the rating. Uh -oh. <laughs> I forgot mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to make so it. Are we doing each one separately, or are we doing I them think, all together? I think we're doing each one We separate. usually do each one separate. I am going to make it the regular camera, not the wide Yeah, one. what if I show you the pie, right? Yeah, that's yeah. much better. Oh, it's not my thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't have my rating thing. I don't have mine. <laughs> oh, Richie has mine. He looks like an air traffic controller. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it in. Do that in the stream. <laughs> Let me make sure everyone can be seen. Is there a way for... I'll use ultra wide. Just zoom in. Oh, there you go. Hang on. Again, you can come next to Jeff, Nicholas. There you go. Over. There we go. Okay, no, that's perfect. That's perfect. There we go. Oh, we, look, you're on our TV. We weren't able to see Dom, so I just switch it. Yeah. <laughs> We're everywhere. I don't know where it's, it's like a production studio. Like really huge. We used to the have a big. Does that we used to have a big ring light. Like, we don't use that anymore. The camera. Well, it's because of the. It's because of the wide. It's because of the angle, angle. wide angle. It's, it's ultra wide. I look like a wide wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> 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 
I didn't say you looked like that. You can't put that on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, that's what you get for sitting on the end. I know, right? Uh, we can get the casserole. Okay. So it's a casserole. A okay. green casserole. You get to get a bite of everything, right? <laughs> no. If it had some of that stuff out of it. Mm. Mm. Can I have an apple? Thank you. Very good. You know, I want you. Thank you. Mm. like a 100 out of 10. Oh, thanks. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were, I thought you said what? I thought I thought you were like surprised by that. What? <laughs> what did you learn from Clinton Kelly? You yeah. have to let it cool be you put in your mouth. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Drink the water. <laughs> Can we have that in like instant replay? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> yes. That is good. I'm surprised actually by that. I wasn't sure mm -hmm. how that was going. This is the first time I made it as a bait. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Donna, do you do a lot of cooking? Do you cook a lot during the week? How many people do you cook for? I find it difficult cooking for two people. I cook for um, Sam and Richard and myself during the week, and um, it depends on the day. But I, I try to cook as much as I can just because I like to. Um, and I find that I like, and I, not that I think I'm better than anybody, but I, I like my food better than what I get like from Uber Eats. By the time it gets here, mm -hmm. it takes an hour anyway, mm -hmm. and I could have cooked it. Mm -hmm. And it's usually cold, or they get something wrong in the order. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why I prefer my cooking, just because I know what I'm putting in it. Exactly. Right. I know it's going to be hot. It's going to be <laughs> ready when it's I hot. want it to be, you know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> Gail says, can you please tell Donna she's a lovely lady. If Aww. we had more people like her, the world would be a better place. Aww. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Very sure. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, should we go in for the pie? We didn't like that yet. We got to rate it. Oh, I forgot about the rating. We got off on the uh, takeout. Hmm. Okay. We got to, this is all takeout? I already have it written down. Me too. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at these buttons? <laughs> you guys didn't count down. Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's Ten. a 30. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it's a 30. Okay. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Yes, it's so good. And like I was saying, you can use, I've used turkey pastrami in there. Right. This is so good. Okay. Make it like a Rachel, right? What they call it yeah. a Rachel? Nicole Francis says Yoda best. Oh, thanks, Nicole. That's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, that is good. Yeah. Mm. That's so good. Mm. Yeah. And Tina's here. I don't know if we said hi to Tina, but Tina's here. Mm. I'll wait till I'm finished with them. Hi, Tina. You can eat I'm that. No, 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 leave it. You can eat that? Yes. What are you doing? Hi, Gina. Go ahead. Disney World Freaks says Angela. Jeff wants to know the score first. No, I agree. I agree. That's what Carlos said. But let it cool down before you eat it. <laughs> Got to blow on it. Always blow on if it. If you don't rate it 10, are you not invited back? No, of course not. Nicholas has rated things not a 10. I, have, I think we've all rated things not a 10. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's been things. Um, it's not just me. You were trying to make it seem like I just write things. Well, no, but you tend to the most out of all of us, just because you have you're a little more of a picky eater. A little, yeah. <laughs> but Richard did not like the keto brownies at all. What did those get? Uh, they got like a negative five or something. <laughs> <laughs> he he, he threw it across my kitchen. He threw it in the sink. He hated Ooh. that one. That needed an instant replay, like slow motion of him throwing it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and I was not, I mean, they did not get, a, they did not get a 10 from me, but they didn't get a negative 5. They got like a 4 or 5. Because we, we actually uh, had a packaged keto brownie to taste alongside of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. To compare it? Four. So I mean, that, that was like a negative that 50. <laughs> that, so that was even worse. Oh, it was okay. like a sponge. All right. Mixed with card. Yeah. 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 So it was just the idea of the, the way that it, the keto period it wasn't, you know, necessary. But the bacon, cream cheese, stuffed chicken that was keto, on point. That got a 10 mm. from everybody. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Jesus said, is Jeff Jesus. trying to steal Angela's food? Why am I not? <laughs> yeah, he did steal my food. I just stole the cheese. Cheese off the top of my... Those, Jesus is calling the... you out. <laughs> I stole the cheeses. <laughs> Once you're called out by Jesus, it's all over. Yeah, it's Sorry, all Dad. over. <laughs> Not the first time either. So. Oh my gosh. Uh, should we try the key lime pie? Yes. Okay. Nicholas, you ready for this one? Yep. Okay. He's going to try this one. All right. I didn't get any more dust on me first. Wait. This is so good. I know it is. Did you make the crust from scratch? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's a shortbread um, creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you call a big Irish spider? I don't know. Patty Hornwood. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Avery? Avery, you're hilarious. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Sue asked if I live here. I live here on every other Sunday. I know. From Sometimes four I to, wish you did. From I four miss to eight. you. <laughs> Jesus said, Jesus is always watching. I know. I know that. Yeah. Watching. Always watching. <laughs> okay. You ready? Wow. Yeah. Key lime pie is Florida on a plate. It's mm -hmm. so good. And this was so easy. All it is is a can of sweetened condensed milk, three egg yolks, and um, key lime juice. Wow. You whisk it together, pour it in the crust 15 minutes later. You take it out of the oven, let it sit for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. put it in the fridge. Wow. You have it. Oh, it's gosh. really good. I they probably won't be able to see it. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's good stuff. They should be able to. Are you ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. That's higher, than, that's higher than a ten. Richie doesn't like mine. Oh. Oh, a seven? Is that a one or a seven? <laughs> Buzzkill. <laughs> I said it's magically delicious. No, oh, and I said lime factor equals a hundred. Yes. Which the is why he doesn't yes. like it. It's really limey. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Melissa. why I like it. Melissa Mouse yeah. Talk is here. Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. You need to come over for key lime pie. <laughs> Just you, not Walt. Uh, <laughs> Sam, do you want some key lime pie? It's very good. It's her favorite. Oh my gosh. It's like screaming live. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We need a TikTok of our jobs throwing brownies. <laughs> that was pretty epic. That could be like a boomerang, like throwing it up, hatching it, throwing it up. Did Marco make a view? Maybe he did. I think he did. I think that was you looking at spatula. Oh yeah. <laughs> he, he caught in the cameras. Point in that side and caught you. Now we're gonna do Irish dancing. Now look at that, guys. We made five St. Patrick's Day dishes. We didn't skimp on anything mm -hmm. in two hours. We're eating time. Two hours, and we're eating. So it really was done beforehand, before two hours. So I think this was a success. What do you think, Nicholas? And we got a McFlurry in less than two hours. We. <laughs> <laughs> Go it did longer than 10 minutes. Though. No. You gotta slow down for those speed bumps because I went airborne on the one. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Did you really? Oh my god. Was it in one, in one of those Like off zones? the road? Was it one? Yeah. They you just don't sneak see up them on coming. you. They go, yeah. I was airborne for about 100 feet. Was there a sign that said 
speedboat? It might have been. <laughs> they need signs on the road. They only have the little the things in the ground. Hey, what? Is the chassis on the car? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's fine. But thank you, Jeff and Ange, for sponsoring the Shamrock Shake section mm -hmm. uh, portion of our stream today. <laughs> Thanks for having us. This oh, is awesome. are you kidding? This is fun. Thanks for you guys us. are welcome anytime. Oh. Okay, hey, so we. Be careful what you say with that, because we might be open. No, 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 no. I love it. <laughs> well, that's awesome. It was so fun having you guys over. I Thanks, mean, honestly. Thanks for having us. <laughs> I see you on the street, guys. I know you're in there. <laughs> but um, Nicholas, Hi. do you think I was we should? To run away. <laughs> do you think we should wrap up things? Because we we did everything. I think, I think we did everything. Yeah. So okay, so let's recap really briefly. Do you want to flip it? Do you want to keep it this way, or does it matter how we wrap it up? Keep it this way. We'll do you want it like just the yeah, first? Just, do you want yeah, the first to talk? No, this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's put that way, they're not going to see anything. You know, don't <laughs> need that. Um, so we made the Reuben casserole, the co-pan and bake, the Irish potato candy, the key lime pie, the shamrock shake, and what did I miss? That was it. Five of them. Yeah. Yep, five dishes. Now it's time for So, I mean, you could easily put a St. Patrick's Day gathering together for your family or for a few friends in less than two hours. Look how I did it. It was so simple. Um, so don't ever feel like, you know, you can't entertain because you don't have the time because look at the, look at all these that we made. You don't even have to make five dishes. You could scale it back. So um, always don't be afraid in the kitchen and always, you know, go with what you want to do, if you want to use pastrami, corned beef, turkey pastrami, just switch it up. If you don't want to use sauerkraut, you can leave the sauerkraut out. Um, you could leave the bacon out of the cold can and just make everything to your liking. Um, you know, never feel that the recipes I show you are how they have to be done. I like giving you my recipes as like a base so that you can build off of them and make it to your own liking. Or if you like it this way, yay, that's awesome too. And yeah. thank you, Annette, for the $5 super chat. Uh -huh. that says, thanks, Donna, and for all you do. Thanks, Donna, and all for all you do. You are an inspiration. <laughs> oh, thank you, Annette, that's so kind. We appreciate you, thank you. Um, so the next stream will be in two weeks. Um, it's gonna be one of two things, and I'm not sure which one yet, so I'm not gonna say what we're doing yet. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> Well, one, one of the um, options is going to be Easter, but the other thing I've got to figure out um, if things are going to fall into place for. So I, I'm not going to commit to that just yet until I have everything cemented. But um, if we don't get plan B um, together, we're going to do um, Easter, either an Easter brunch or an Easter spread, just Easter themed. So we'll do that next time. We're going to have the Easter bunny here. You're going to dress up as the Easter Bunny. So you walk say, into that yeah. one. Yeah. I'll have you carry a little basket. That would be great. Hi, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, but we will see you in um, two weeks. And thank you so much for joining us. And I also want to um, make sure you guys check out our good friends, Diz Our Dream. Um, my good friend, the Orlando guy, who sponsored our mug and the Shamrock Shake segment today. And also next week, um, my friends Lynn from the Lynn Project and Noelle are starting a new um, show. It's going to air, I believe, once every other week um, opposite of me. So when I have my off weeks, they're going to go live at, at uh, I believe, 7 o'clock, but that time may change um, on, I believe, Lynn's channel, uh, the Lynn Project. So make sure you check them out. They're going to be talking about doing things in Disney without your kids. So adulting in Disney, basically. So it should be a fun show. And yes. CH saying five dollars okay. super chat says, "Will you color eggs?" Oh, we might. Oh. Would you like to do that, Nicholas? Let's do it. Okay, we can do that. We'll put it on the list. So if Plan B doesn't pan out, we will be doing Easter eggs and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, but also, I, next week, I believe um, my friend Pete McDevitt is coming back. He's making his return to the hot seat being interviewed by um, my other good friend and little brother, Steve from Steve's World. So make sure you guys check that out. I believe that's at 7.30. Is that, is that right now? It's at 7.30, so. right? Yep, yeah, 7.30 uh, next Sunday, so don't miss it. It's Pete's return. He's gonna be on the hot seat and the tables are gonna be turned on him. 
So um, Steve's going to have some tough questions for him, so I hope, I hope Pete's ready. But Pete, we love you. We're thinking of you. And um, we hope to uh, see you next week. And I will see you in two weeks. So until then, I just want to thank all of you, everyone who super chatted or sent a PayPal or became a member. Um, you guys mean the world to me. I appreciate it so much. You really don't have to do that. And that you choose to uh, really, really touches my heart. And I can't thank you enough. Um, and also thank you for watching because I know there's a lot of people streaming and you have a choice of what you watch and that you decided to spend time with me um, cooking. It means everything. So thank you. And I guess that's it. So on behalf of my kitchen crew, Jizz our dream, and all of my friends, I just want to say thank you. And we will see you in two weeks. So have a magical couple of weeks, guys. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. And Sam. And Sam. I <laughs> said well, so the kitchen crew. She's kind of. Yeah, she's a couch crew. <laughs>